My name is Ali Pierk. I am a senior here at College of the Atlantic and I am from British Columbia, Canada. I arrived at COA with an interest in medicine and public health and started taking classes in both of those two subject areas. And as a sophomore, I was presented with the opportunity to do an internship at the Mount Desert Island Biological Labs during the summer, which led me to working at the Jackson Laboratory after school and on weekends. And my academic advisor helped me set that up. So he introduced me to this senior researcher within the gerontology lab, Kevin, my mentor. He would meet me at College of the Atlantic and we would do sort of a tutorial style class so that I could learn the basics of aging and immunology. And from there we moved to the Jackson Laboratories, which is just a short bike ride away. Well, I'm working in Dr. Harrison's lab right now and I'm working with one of the senior researchers who is a gerontologist. So he's looking at aging and how the immune system is involved in aging. And he has been working for the last few years on a drug trial essentially for a drug called rapamycin, which has been shown to increase lifespan and health span. So my main role in Kevin's lab was to test the serum samples of mice for the amount of mouse antibody, um, which is an indication of the immune reaction of the mouse. So I've been doing a lot of the bench work for him in the past couple of years, which has been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot about uh, the immune system and a lot about aging in humans. So COA has been very supportive of my interest in biomedical research. Not only was I set up working at the Jackson Laboratory through my academic advisor, but I was also encouraged to work at the Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute. And that lab was founded by Nadia Rosenthal, who is a COA trustee, and who connected me with that lab and set me up with a summer internship working there. It's been really great to take advantage of some of those connections that COA has. Um, it's helped me out a lot. And it was really interesting for me to see the research side of health and medicine.